and we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be doing the level 63 Paladin video. And as always, hello from Mifri. So we are here at the Gladiator Guild in all the steps of Fall at 9.12. So we need to talk to Myla. So let's get this done. The quest is called In Fowl's Name. And I managed to hit 63 quite quickly just by doing the roulettes and dailies every day, to be honest. It's like leveling in this expansion is very fast doing dungeon runs. I haven't gone into Palace of the Dead once since Stormblood launched. So Myla Expectant Gaze tells you the time is come. So it begins, Mifri. There are eight combatants in each group, meaning you must triumph in three bouts in order to advance to the final. And the opponent for your first bout is Buff Follomew of the Sultan Sworn. Defeat him and you will next face the victor of another pairing, and so on. Needless to say that each encounter will be more difficult than the last. But one fight at a time, the tournament registrar will call you when the time uh, to take to the Blood Sands. Go now and good luck. Oh, cool. That'll be interesting then if um, if all of the quests are basically just one battle after the other, you know what I mean? Alright, okay, here we go. So, hard to think I would draw you up for my first opponent. I thank the heavens even as I curse them. But no matter who my opponent may be, I shall fight with all my being for the pride of the Sultan Swarm. See you on the Blood Sands, my friend. Okily dokily. So it is time, my lady. Pray see to your final preparations. Let me know when you're ready to proceed. All right. I mean, look at my gear. So in case you're wondering, I'm wearing the 270 gear that you buy with. You can buy them with Poetics now, so I've got the whole set. So anyway, let's do this fight. So are you ready to enter the arena? So duty calls, commence battle for in file's name. If your level is above 65, it will be synced. Cool. Alright. So I can't move yet, but I will put up Sword Oath. It begins. Okay, so you can't kite him, basically. He runs too quick. This interrupts. I don't know if he has any type of self-heal or whatever. Sloppy. Let's try and rotate some cooldowns. Make sure we get our MP back, because I'm going to need it if I'm going to use the occasional... Oh, crap, I missed. Occasional heal. It's halfway already. Well, nearly halfway. 58%. 56%. So it seems every attack I do, like, takes off 2-3% of his health. I could probably just use uh, Royal Authority rather than... Thingy. Remember that now you can sprint without using TP. Check out some Riot Blade. Hang on. Which is... What is Riot Blade? Oh. oh. Okay, okay. So I actually have to do the MP rotation in order for it to be useful. Okay. There you go. And then six. That's better. Okay, so we'll do that instead. And then let's do clemency again. It's not even needed, but let's do it. And this. This. One more MP rotation. And we win. The winner is Mifri. Yay! Easy. That was an easy fight, but I don't know if it's because I'm overgeared. So now we have to go against the Bronze Bull. Next. So, of course, 
I am the best. Lol. Not really. Oh, balls. Okay, next. Let's do some sort of healing. Just don't take your HP for granted, basically. Let's use pacification on him. Then let's restore MP. Just make sure that your MP is always full, basically, for, so you can use clemency when you need it. The last thing you want is to hit clemency and then find out you can't even afford it. Okay, let's do clemency. Let's do it again. I'll use some rotations as well. Let's use pacification on him. Let's do that. No. Let's restore some MP. Let's get some more MP back. Again, let's use clemency. Interrupt me, eh? I see how it is. And we win. All first. Wow, another one, really? So we have to go against Hondalup. I forgot he's one of the flipping thingies. He's one of the uh, Holy Sea, isn't he? Forgot about that. Crap, messed up that rotation, didn't I? Let's just heal while he's running away like a maniac. He's immune. Store MP. Now what's this? So we have to obviously kill the God Sphere, whatever it is. I'm assuming if you don't kill that in time, you'll just probably be ripped. Okay, let's heal. Let's use a wet. Well, that was a waste. That ability, you, you know it's from the Holy See, basically, because you, you see it in the first time you see it in the vault. So, yeah, let's do this. Okay, so... Let's do this fight. Okay, so let's win. Let's win this fight. No. Okay, so we won that fight. 
Cool. Duty complete. So give me a second, guys. Okay, sorry, I'm back. Obviously, I need to edit this video. So, that concludes all matches for the foul group and what heart stomping encounters they were. Uh, verily, Door, the crowd expected and the combatants delivered. Not least of all, the group winner, Riffrey Bellafield, who carved a convincing path to the final. Shall we retrace our steps for those who came in late? So, you read my mind. Mifri's first match uh, pitted her against Bartholomew, the Sultan Sworn, fought with heart, but in the end he was outclassed by the star adventurer. Uh, though he can take pride in his efforts, unfortunately he had to take his leave of the tournament. There was no getting past Mifri, who went on to face the hulking... Uh, hang on. My screen is dirty. <laughs> there you go. The hulking bronze bull. So, a veteran of countless matches here in the Coliseum, you could say that he um, had the ground advantage from the onset. The man brought his prestigious strength to bear, unleashing wave upon wave, punishing, punishing attacks. But Mifri calmly weathered them all to emerge the victor. So with that, she advanced to the Foul Group's final match against Handeloup of the Temple Knights, employing blistering techniques seldom seen this side of Eorzea. The Ishgardian visitor looked dangerous indeed. If truth be told, for a moment there, I feared for Mifri, but the adventurer dug deep to secure victory and a place in the All Cup final. Ah, the, um, the mere remembering of it sets my heart to racing like a runaway chocobo. Take deep breaths, my friend, for there's still more excitement to come. The Nile group matches are due to commence shortly, with the likes of Fistsword Mela taking to the Blood Sands. Uh, what have I done to deserve such a treat? I won't be missing these matches and neither should any of you. The sincerity in their voices. Oh my god. Lol. So, all unfolds are an as anticipated. Good. The free paladin I told you about is living up to expectations, eh? <laughs> that she is. Keep up your winning ways, my friend, and win us a fortune. <laughs> Rich people. <laughs> okay, so let's talk to Handeloup. So, Mifri, you were magnificent. Our match will remain etched in my memory and inspire me always. So, I had absolutely no answer to you. Such precious things you must have protected to become so strong. I've only been protecting my own ego. So, as you know, we saw and sworn live to protect her grace. By any measure, 
That is a vital duty, and ever do I strive to be worthy of the role. And crossing swords with you this day has given me uh, to think that perhaps it is not enough. Whatever it is that I yet lack, mayhap I shall find it in witnessing you. I thought I had something of a chance, but I was clearly getting ahead of myself. You gave me a thorough schooling, and I mean to take the lesson to heart. Though my tournament may be over, I shall remain in order to watch the matches to come, and I believe I speak for all of us here when I wish you the best of luck. Our hopes go with you now, my friend. So, oh, a woman named Mela was looking for you. If you haven't already spoken with her, mayhap you should seek her out. I salute you. Okay, so let's go talk to Mela and let's finish this quest off. Yay. There she is. So, a place in the final, I knew you had it in you, but to witness it all unfold was nothing short of awe-inspiring. The winner of the now group will square off against you for the title, and suffice it to say I intend to be that person. I shall see to it that a match between us becomes a reality, and I hope that I can count on your support. Yep. Nice. So, anyway guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and as always, goodbye from me, and goodbye from Biffrey. Bye guys.